what sort of comes out in these comments, this distinction that people don't seem to be able to make that somehow we're trading and somehow we're making a profit. The suffering we endure, the desire we satisfy is worth it. They don't even get, you know, I say the word addiction and they don't even acknowledge that as a concept. And they kind of think that our repulsions to something are just as subjective as our attachments to things. That's really not how the mechanism works. It really does have to contrive the forward motion, something pushing you, and you're pushed by a deprivation in that direction. So again, it's a negative force pushing you to need something. You know, these guys, I guess, would say, you know, because most people drink. I don't know if it's true, but let's just say most people drink. A certain percentage drink way too much and pay a huge price for it. That somehow that logic is the true logic where I could argue, I think quite simply, that if alcohol never existed, we would have been better off. We would have been better off without that attachment or that need or that dependency. On balance has done a lot more harm than good. And I could say that about anything that we're attached to. What's the price paid? Like how many people get AIDS by having sex? All the AIDS that people end up having or all the other venereal diseases or even childbirth. All these connected miseries that are tied to this activity. And would I impose that on somebody? Would I give somebody AIDS to have sex a hundred times? I get to have sex a hundred times and then one person gets AIDS? What's the number we're going to throw out there? And is there a number that would matter in that equation? Would any amount of sexual gratification with somebody make it worth it? I could argue no. And then even you can get into the argument of the difference between needing food and needing food that tastes good. These are different things. It's like some of these people just don't want to do the little bit of work it takes to make these distinctions. There are subtleties here that dictionary definitions don't cover, but certainly the context of the conversation has made it clear. This is also annoying that they want to keep reverting to language not spoken, and they keep ignoring the language explicitly stated. The context explicitly created. Um, so when I say cannibalism, it seems quite obvious. I've said it over and over and over again. I've explained the context of that terminology. It's not a, a literal cannibalism of a DNA code within a certain range. It's a cannibalism in terms of a functionality, in terms of a mechanism of taking from something else that's just as valuable as yourself. There's no other mission statement here. We don't accomplish anything else. We don't satisfy any other need. But the necessity of a molecule replicating, and I would argue that there's no necessity to the molecule replicating. If they looked at life as it is, without this notion of a god making it, they could see that it's a terribly awful, horrible game. And it's only nihilists now who are eliminating the existence of the price paid, who can find some justification for the pretense of an excuse to play the game. The hard consciousness is a feeding machine. I've already described it. It's insidious as a great white shark or killer whales, you know, entertaining themselves with the, the success of forcing... Um, a mammal of no less credibility than themselves into the ocean so they can chew it to pieces. I can't really have a philosophical argument or a conversation with somebody unwilling to concede what's really taking place, which is the only thing that's driving you is the competition inside of you, your need, your ego, your vanity. These are the things driving you. The fact that you see victory in creating dead bodies behind you, satisfying your vanity by saying, I'm superior, I'm better, I'm cooler. There's, there's no victory in this. It's a delusion in your head that there's victory in it. It creates cannibalism, failures in a much higher density than it creates successes. It uses failures to feed successes.